Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to Pete R Media, your home for everything movies and music through my eyes. And today we have a review of the new album by local artist Jerrica Miguel, Brightest Star. Jerrica Miguel is a singer, songwriter, country, indie artist from the Eau Claire, Wisconsin area. I'm from Eau Claire, so I love talking about local releases anytime they come on my radar. And this is a release that's been getting some buzz here in the area. Jerrica Miguel is a local artist that has been playing around for quite a few years. She's got multiple records, and Brightest Star is the first album she's done with a full band. So I was interested to see where her music went. And this entire album is about her mother who passed away about five years ago. And shout out to Eric Christensen at Volume 1 Magazine for writing a fantastic piece in this album. That's where I got a lot of this info. And just from that subject matter alone, this is an incredibly heartfelt album. You really feel the yearning in her heart for her mom, and it really transposes onto this music. There are slow songs, there are piano-driven songs, there are more upbeat songs, there are more country songs. So there's a lot of diversity in this album, but how did that diversity come together? Let's get into it. I think the biggest holdback for Brightest Star is the fact that its first song, Trouble, which also served as a lead single, was my least favorite song in the album. I think Jerrica has a fantastic voice, but there are some vocal inflections on Trouble that were just kind of throwing me through a loop. I understood what she was going for, but it didn't work for me ultimately. I think she sounds much better when she sings straightforward with more power. This song was kind of doing a almost yodeling country vibe. I think the track list got much better after Trouble, but it kind of came out with a whimper on this song. After Trouble, I was like, oh gosh, what am I in for on this seven track album but banks on the river a solid song a lot of great fender telecaster tones some very light drums very light bass and some strong backing vocals i think the mix in this entire album is very earthy very organic it feels like you're sitting in the room in the studio with them this doesn't feel like a polished studio record that might have helped some of these songs but it does add to the charm and the hometown feel of brightest star and the next three songs almost feel kind of looped together for me grief song with or without you and oh mama are all odes to her mom who passed away and i think they're catching up beat but I don't think they're the most memorable on Brightest Star. I think this song could have benefited from being a 10-song full-length record that would kind of go on a journey with Jerrica, or a 5 or 6 song EP. 7 feels kind of like a weird in-between, and the flow ends up getting disrupted a little bit. But my favorite song by far on the album is the song Brightest Star. I think it's a marvel. I think it's beautiful. Jerrica's voice comes out soaring on this, and it just brings a tear to your eyes, something that's harder and harder to find as I listen to more and more music. But mix Brightest Star with the last track, One Night, I think this album goes out on top. So half of the track list I loved, half of it I was kind of ho-hum on. So ultimately I did enjoy Jerrica Miguel's Brightest Star. There are some areas I think it could have improved upon where just more of a channeled style, more of a low-key style because some of the more upbeat songs just don't fit her voice and her appeal as much as I think they could. So if she would have leaned a little bit more into the acoustic guitars, the big piano and the big backing vocals, I think I would have liked this album a lot more. But ultimately I think a solid 7 out of 10 for Jerrica Miguel's Brightest Star is what I'm going with. I like it a lot. It's a great local project, and I think you should check her and her story out when you get the chance. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram, and like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching PR Media. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Mama.